guys welcome back to my channel so I've noticed a lot of you guys asking recently on my channel and on my Instagram about my hair our hair <laughs> and how I do my hairstyles on a daily basis so I just wanted to show you guys how I fix my hair every day how I put my weave in all that stuff and then show you guys to do a couple easy hairstyles these are also really good for Valentine's Day which is coming up okay the first thing I'm gonna do is gosh can you believe it? it's crazy okay so I wear this this is halo couture my color is F 112 and I wear this every day so a lot of my hairstyles are going to consist of putting this in first I'm just going to show you kind of what I do to my hair every day so I get out of the shower and my hair has run amok and it's frizzy and it's gross but obviously with blonde hair that's really over processed you have to be kind of careful with it. So I try not to curl it and straighten it and then curl it. I do the minimal amount of work that I have to do to it with heat styling. This is like so junky and old and I have all the fancy like awesome styling rods and all the new stuff. And I go back to this dang thing every single time. So this is just an ion. I think it's from like Sally's Beauty Supply. And I prefer, I really got into the wand face, but I really prefer something with a clamp, and I'm going to show you why. So, that's all I have. That's all I have. <laughs> okay, so for my day-to-day my day, -to -day hairstyle. So, I part it down the middle, and it's really important once you part it, part it wet, and then dry it like that. So, I just dry it. I just use my regular hairbrush when I dry my hair. I don't usually use a round brush. And then I take it in pieces. I hold my curl iron on there for like a couple seconds and then I pull it out like that. A lot of people pull their hair out of the curl irons wrong. And I think that's why a lot of people's curls, they look curled at the end or they don't really blend with their extensions. And look, I take huge chunks of my hair. So this one too, you leave the end of your hair out, hold it on there just for a couple seconds, pull it straight down. I'm gonna go around my whole head and do that. I literally only do like six curls maybe eight it's whack because what you don't want to do you don't want to curl these short layers up at the top when you're trying to get it to blend okay this back piece Here's how I install my weave. Okay, so I've had every type of hair extension. I've had the clip, the tape, the middle, the blah, 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 blah. This is my ultimate jam. You set that on your head like this, push it down in the back, like so. <laughs> then you take, there's a comb that comes with it, but of course I lost it. <laughs> so I take my teasing comb. And I go like so. You want to make sure that hair comes through. Pull it through. Pull it through. Who has long hair? Me. <laughs> but a lot of you guys requested this simple little tiny hairstyle. So um, I'm going to do this little top knot with this. So I'm going to hit my extension with a few curls just so that it blends a little bit better. Now, okay, so a top knot. The key is for a top knot, you obviously don't want your extensions to show. So you're only gonna pull about to here, to here, because if I pull any more, then that's gonna show. But it's really easy to cover it up. These, these halos really hit you in the right spot. So you pull the hair that you want up. This teasing comb is incredibly awesome. This is a Con Air, just from Walmart. And you tease it. This is really key because if you have fine hair like mine, it'll just kind of lay funny. And you want it to be like, you know, cute and top knotty. Okay, here's the key. You gotta have a lot of hair in this top knot, and I do not have a lot of hair, which is why I have to wear these kind of things every day. So I have to go further back. So I'm going to go almost like in a triangle back here to get that 
get kind of as, as much hair as I can get. It's not a triangle. Why did I say it's a triangle? Okay, and there's two ways to do this top knot. And I've done them both ways, and they're both really cute. If I'm in a hurry, this is like so simple. So you have to make sure it's teased, especially if, you know, your middle part's being kind of funky like mine's being right now. I like these little tiny um, clear rubber bands from Walmart. You can get them in like different colors too. So I will take it. I'll keep my little bun in there. Then I'll take this. And I will like dig this hair out. Can you see it? Can you see the little bun? How cute is that and how easy is that? Okay, so if it's not looking right for you, something, I mean, it's so like cute and easy. And it doesn't look weird. Don't worry if like right there you're like, oh, it shows my part. It's okay. Cutest little thing ever. And the key is you really have to, you really have to tease it. You really have to pump that part up right there. And then this part, don't pull it like this, pull it like here from the base. And then like you can pull these small pieces in if, if your bun starts getting too big there. But I prefer it kind of messy like that and just like cute. I don't always wear it on the front, I usually wear it like this. So that's hairstyle number one. You can also use this and do like a bobby pin and like more of a kind of bun, but I really like the little messy top knot. Okay, so on to number two. Okay, the second hairstyle that I'm gonna show you guys this would also be really great for Valentine's Day. It's kind of this glamorous, the far overside part with kind of some um, more wavy curls. So I've already got my hair in from the last hairstyle that I did. I'm just gonna change my part. So take whatever comb or brush or whatever that you have. And obviously like if you've blow dried your hair to kind of part in the middle, it's gonna do this, but that's what you want. And I'm even gonna tease that a little bit more. Okay, it's still curled from the first time, but I'm gonna add to that curl. This is just barely curled. Okay, so I'm gonna take this um, same curling iron. You could also use a curling wand here if you wanted kind of, it kind of will achieve those waves. I'm gonna take a huge section of my hair. I'm gonna have my real hair in there with my weave. I keep it at the top for a little bit longer and then I like slowly, slowly, slowly let it out because I don't want it really curled at the bottom. Same thing. Leave that like that. Same thing with this one, only instead of doing it kind of um, vertically like I do, I'm gonna do it horizontally because if you alternate between doing those vertical curls and those horizontal curls, it just makes it kind of not as uniformed and as you guys can probably tell, uniform sometimes is not my jam. So now I'm gonna go in with, this is Rock On Flexible Hold Hairspray. I used to use Orabe, but it's really expensive and it kinda does the same thing as this. So what I'm gonna do, you brush through it, make it all really smooth. Then you'll spray it. And what's awesome about this hairspray is you can really shape your hair. And with these curls, that's the piece that's gonna go back there, but see, how lovely. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. And then if you guys are like me, <laughs> and you're from the South, and you like to be Dolly Parton like all day, every day, or you did Miss America, <laughs> and you're kind of like hooked on the big hairstyle, all you have to do to like make this really smooth, pretty look, va va boom, take that hairbrush, this is why this weave is so awesome. Take that hairbrush and like barely tease like that. Isn't that cray? Okay, so this side, this side's like flat, whatever. Woo! Woo! That's what's really awesome about a weave because it's like really workable. It holds curl, it holds hairspray. You can tease it like not like you can do real hair. 
So that's like really crazy to me. Okay, last but not least, I mean, but like, look, look how awesome this is. And like, who, which one do you prefer? This or <laughs> this one? Definitely this one. Okay, so last but not least. Okay, and last but not least, because my real hair got real lonely, <laughs> I'm gonna do a style with my real hair. This is a really simple, easy look. Um, it's incorporating those braids that are becoming really popular again. Like the boho braids were in, but now the Kardashians are doing that really cool, like skinny, almost cornrow double braid, you know? So that's an outward braid, and that's what I'm gonna do for this look. You can also use that, this same braid technique to do that type of look with the two braids, but. Okay, so my real hair down, parted on the side. This is so easy. People don't realize that this is so easy. Like a lot of moms are like, oh, I wish I could do my kid's hair like that for school, but like I'm so bad. Literally all you're doing is pinching this hair. Pinch, pinch with that pointer finger. Pinch, I had to lift that hair up there, but pinch, pinch, Inch. and you go all the way around the head or you stop at the or you go down into a real braid once you get this technique down it's literally the easiest thing to do ever so here's the hard part and this is why it's easy to like go like the Kardashians into that normal little braid because here's where it's gonna switch over. And I've just lost my pattern because I got sidetracked. You can bring it on up around. Or, like I like, because I don't like this like, Heidi Thumbelina, like, all the way around. I kinda like it looking like an updo. I'll pin that braid down like so. Y'all, I did this one in two seconds, so obviously if you spend like one more minute, you can really get something cool. But, how cute is that? I love little like updos like that. I know that it's like rough there in the back because I don't have a mirror. I'm not looking, I'm showing you guys. So I just want to show you how simple and easy it is to do that outer braid. Like I said, you could literally do those two little braids like the Kardashians do all the time in like two seconds. In fact, so there you have it. My easy hairstyles that I do on a daily basis. As you guys can see, my extension piece is a huge part of my everyday hair routine. But you don't have to sit and spend hours and hours on your hair. It's really just like finding the simple things that work for you and doing the right types of techniques. Doing the pull out kind of curl, doing the teasing, using the right tools. So I hope this has been really helpful for you guys. Leave a comment below if you still have a question. And thanks so much for watching. Make sure to watch my Valentine's Day tutorial next week. And many more coming soon. So there you have it. Those are my hair secrets. My everyday styles. Somebody's probably passed out because they saw that what I wear every day is a weave. <laughs> <laughs>